Okay, so we're gonna watch some more Blake 7. We are. We are on episode... I wanted to say 7, but we're not. No, yeah, <laughs> Blake's we've, episode we've just seven. had that. Damn it. <laughs> uh, it was a murder mystery. It was, yes. Quite an interesting uh, decision for that. And it, it was a good one, too. Yeah, yeah I think it, I thought it worked quite well. It'd be interesting to know what the uh, consensus is of, of the fans of people... Uh, who like it? Who are a fan of the whole show? Yeah. Sure. Episode eight. Yes. Jewel. Yes. I wonder if that's literally a jewel, or there might be a metaphorical jewel. Oh, what the... uh, not starting lightly, then. No. I had no choice to use my pad against me. It is not one doesn't ask to be chosen. What is this intro? Are you sure about those? It's things? it's an intro. Not yet. And Cinefar. This may not be their killing ground. Ah. Okay, we're back to him. We didn't expect him back so soon. No? That's the way to me. I'd be happy to get clear of this lot for a while. Back in the spotlight, maybe. <laughs> it's the people that didn't go down last time that are going down this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely got the. They're getting better at it, yeah, aren't they? Yep. That was basically perfect. Yeah. Oh uh, yes. Remind uh, me why they've come here. down here. Um. Breathable they just, atmosphere. They're just investigating then. I guess. What did they call the bomb in the Daleks that made the world the dead planet? That wasn't fusion bomb, was it? It's something else. Neutron bomb. Oh. That's what they call it in the Daleks, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> ah. I was about to say these are the inhabitants, but <laughs> not anymore. Two women watching us. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> he got his shoes off. The choice is made. Okay, I guess no investigation. What? Blake! Activate! Second boat launched. Oh. That flashing. Activate! Oh. And explosions. This is. Is the Liberator surrounded by one? Ooh, oh, two, cool! All right. Three pursuit ships. This could be the duel. It's only when there's one of them, the, then it will be a duel. But at the moment, it's not really a duel. Well, between Blake and yeah, Travis Barker. Yeah. Right, yeah, between that shit. <laughs> oh, yep. Whoa. Oh, um, yeah, the, it's kind of a bit, there's a bit too much anticipation. Oh. Yeah, it's got yeah, maybe time right. stopped or something. Or it's been slowed down. Is it Giroc? Giroc? And oh, Cinefar could be. This? Could be. Oh my god, even the, the, just the videos are going all crazy. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody's calling both of them. Oh, right. Ah, okay. I see where this could be going. I'm quite surprised that they're already. Blake. Yep. <laughs> no. We were left with a planet made barren by radiation. It's a Terry Nation story. <laughs> Why do you with me by your own choice? Really? Yes. My sworn allegiance to the Federation. Tools for survival. Oh, so they do get weapons. Alright, here we go. 
Yeah, very significant uh, confrontation this early on. I'm quite surprised. Do you think this might be like it? <laughs> it. I, I don't know. If you, I don't know. If the end like of something will happen and they won't kill each other. I don't. Know. I mean, that's why I'm saying it's surprising that this early on mm. something so uh, significant is happening like this. It's quite well directed episode actually. I'm enjoying it. This barren planet looks a lot like a, an English wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably just outside London. <laughs> I bet. Uh, and it doesn't sound like Dudley Simpson. And I know I said this before, and it was, but well, it probably is. Yeah, I bet there aren't ghosts like that in. And I bet there's not this thing in an out of London forest. Sherlock! Okay, here yeah. we go. So we're starting again. <laughs> yeah. I'm slightly disappointed we've got yet another Blake story. Uh. But it's an interesting idea, this, certainly. I mean, yeah, there's some creativity to it. Mm. But I don't know about the execution. And I have a little plan we can put into operation. Yeah, sets traps, makes plans. He's like the master. <laughs> well, that's actually quite interesting, the fact that it's... Yeah, this sci these science fiction characters are reduced to, like... You know the more primitive technologies oh, right. okay. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. This doesn't interest you at all, does it? I do like the parallels they're drawing between the two relationships, mm. between the commanders and pilots. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. interesting. Oh gosh. Blake is sitting up in a tree, Travis is sitting up in another tree. Unless they're planning to throw nuts at one Literally what I was thinking, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to say, does everyone have to be You're there watching them? Or just one or two? Let's inflame. Yes, I'm a bit sore, something I can't cope with. I'm sure it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's probably not poisonous. <laughs> Oh no, he's got... What are these things doing at the foot of the tree? <laughs> I've been watching Blake. He's quartering the area. That is the correct search pattern. It's like Google Books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> watching them watch it. Reaction videos. Yeah. Don't touch Blake, he belongs to me. Oh, classic villain mistake. I will be the one. Go on, what's the matter with you? <laughs> the blood of those creatures, it was not suitable. Yeah. What uh, Jirok was saying earlier, you know, they want... Uh, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know something, what you mean. I know what you something mean. to do with that. I know what you mean. Don't. Okay. Just stay nearby. Oh! What was that? It was like a. Like, sort of Jenna. double. Ninja. <laughs> yeah! Jenna! She a ninja vampire. There's some smoke over there! That's a new company. It is, isn't it? No Deadly Assassin Part 3, but... <laughs> Jenna! I wasn't even thinking of that. That's what it reminds honest. me of. A little bit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. No! Not yet. Now! No, she'll never be able to. Now! <laughs> or I'll throw this sword <laughs> into the ground harder! <laughs> Not a sword. To be fair, they probably don't know, really know what they're doing in this scenario. Mm. They're not used to the primitive fighting, as you said. You know, they're I used guess. to starships. I know you're there, Blake. I have your plan. Your plan will die, Blake, unless you give yourself up. Yeah, and now he's got something to fight for mm -hmm. properly. He knows what he's doing, Travis. No, no. Well, I he's suppose. just, he's just, Blake is at his best when he's rescuing someone. Yeah. Oh, now it begins. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Sounds a little excessive. It's interesting though. Mm. I kind of do like it just because of the weirdness. Oh, he won't do it. As long as he's alive, he'll be the one chasing me. And I know I can beat him. <laughs> At least you're not stupid. Perhaps there was nothing for you to learn. Okay, and that's <laughs> the moral of the story, kids. So, <laughs> I, I hate to say what I would have done as a writer, but I feel like <laughs> this isn't the way I would have gone with it. I will heal her. She is of no further value to me. I have a fugitive to hunt. You messed up. Return me to my <laughs> it's good to see a man like Travis again after so you remind her when you just calling him an idiot earlier. <laughs> Your failure cost me blame. She did nothing wrong. <laughs> I warned you that my function would be impaired, Commander. Follow Blake's course. What was her name? The Dark Magic Beast. Oh, I don't, have can't remember. I don't remember it. You should have killed me. And and so we're back to where we started. Yeah. Um no. no that that's Mutoid. That doesn't No, help. it was like she had a name. I'm a bit upset Surrey? that they didn't oh, Yeah, no, it's a weird Surrey. name. I don't know. I'm a bit upset that they didn't credit her with that name. Yeah. It, it, it diminishes the character. Well. Which I thought they were trying not to do in the story, but point out that she was more than yeah. the Mutoid. Sure, they were kind of going somewhere with that, and then they stop. Yeah. Who was the incidental music? Oh! Did it not say... It said title music. Oh, yes. Go now, on. is this Douglas Camfield? Yes! That's why it wasn't Dudley. I knew it. I knew it was Douglas Camfield. Oh, uh, yeah. I recognise his directing course. anywhere. That's why I loved it so much. I still knew did, it. Still didn't want Dudley yeah. scoring. Wow. There are some really good ideas there, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know how I feel about it in practice. I'm sure, I like that one. Okay. Weirdly taste and okay. executed, and it kind of didn't really amount to anything. Yeah. That... Um, <laughs> yeah, we're just back to where we started. Like, yeah, nothing was really. It's. It was filler that felt like it wasn't trying to be, <laughs> um, you know, because it actually had more, it had a lot more going for it than some, than a couple of the other episodes we've had. Yes, um, I agree. But by the end it kind of just feels like nothing's, nothing of worth has actually it happened. It fizzled out a bit, didn't it? Despite yeah. Big Fight, it did seem to fizzle. The, I guess, effects were interesting, like, you know, but... You're not not always smoothly done, like the slow motion and the sort of the weird coloured mm -hmm. grading. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that that duel was was quite. Um, I don't I don't know. It just felt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the like the, the echoing sound and the slow motion. All yeah. that. I don't know. It's 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 odd, and not in a, like a date. Like it's deliberately. odd. Yes, like those two, the two women being like ethereal and powerful and yeah, dead. yeah. It's the strange world of it all. Yeah, I, I, I liked most of that. Some of it didn't quite work, but it felt very art housey to me. Uh, so I, I respect the way it was directed a lot by Douglas Camfield. Mm. Um, I mean, it was certainly it going wasn't a hundred percent. Agree. But yeah, at least it does stand out. Oh, definitely. Among some of the other ones, and I suppose it it gains something for that. Yeah. But I'm slightly underwhelmed by the episode. Yes, the script was not my favourite. Yeah, and and yeah, it feels so weird to have something like that, having Blake and Travis directly confront each other so soon mm. after Travis has been introduced. It could have been a finale. There's no, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This could have been done as, like, yeah, as a season finale. Mm. Um, you know, I, like you, I didn't expect Travis to return so soon. Mm -hmm. I thought, or I thought maybe there'd be like little hints 
you know, right. but he's still sort of pursuing them. Yeah. But yeah, it was a very interesting decision to have something like this now. Uh, and like like I was saying... And in this way. Like you kind of brought up, they're kind of back where they started. Yeah. But I would argue that they're further back almost. <laughs> because all this episode did, as Blake even says, we know we can defeat him now. <laughs> what sort of villain is that? I know. I mean, I know... Like, this is often the case where the hero is always better than the villain. But he just says it! <laughs> I mean... It's like, what's the threat? There's no threat now. <laughs> yeah, that so, is... So, what I would have done, and I, it does feel... I don't like saying how I would have done it, usually, because it feels wrong. It's not... I didn't write it, it's not my show. But, from a purely technical writing perspective, I would have flipped that fight, have Travis win, but have those two women stop the fight before Travis can kill Blake, teleport them both out, and, Blake... and just have it carry on. That way, you know Travis is capable of yeah, defeating and Blake. Blake realizes he's going to have to up that... his game. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a pretty good uh, direction to take it in. But yeah, as I just say, that can't really change that. That's, mm -hmm. We've got what we've got, uh, yeah. and I said about halfway in it was I was a little bit disappointed it was another Blake story we got a bit of Jenna as well uh, fighting unnamed mutoid <laughs> <laughs> well named but not named not but focused focused on. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wondered if she was maybe going to betray Travis and that was how they were gonna get out of it maybe that could still happen maybe. somehow maybe. I don't know certainly an interesting one <laughs> It's a standout, as you said. At least they assume that unnamed mutoid will be coming back as the as the Jenna parallel and Travis's sidekick. If they if they do that, if they well, she was alive by the end, so yeah, that's um, that's my but guess. But if they go anywhere with her, that character, seem a bit weird after they drew that parallel. Well. And then re went to the effort of reviving her at the end. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Oh, I've no idea what to give this a score because... Oh, I need to... Okay. Yeah. Because I... Yeah, I like parts of it and ideas mm. more than episodes that have just been, you know, whatever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and, that, and that's a balance for me because the script is probably a 5 out of 10 and the production and the directing and the acting is probably like an 8 out of 10. Okay, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, not yeah, not as good as the last episode, but no. it is at least... At least it has something like going for it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if Project Avalon... Yeah, whatever that has in store for us. Yeah. It's not Project Avon. <laughs> it's nearly Project Avon. <laughs>